In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, it is always a great joy to meet Jesus in this sacrament where he shows us his love for all of us and each of us. How great it is for you to be loved by Jesus. To recognize in your life he is there for you. He is a good shepherd. He is taking good care of you. As we begin this Eucharist, my brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most gracious fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may merit to receive the joy of our redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and runs with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of, because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith, and a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves, the gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All, All you nations, praise, praise the Lord. Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, this man was born there. All and of the nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their fe festive dance, my home is within you. All, all you nations, nations praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Alleluia. 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 My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. With your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. 
And Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. And no one can take him out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our brothers and sisters, how often in our lives we are impatient, we can't wait. How often in my life, I want things to happen quickly. Or maybe how often I can say, oh, Jesus, how long I am going to wait. It's been so hard in my life. It's been so hard for my family to do something. So you can see in today's gospel, the Jews, they are very impatient. They said to Jesus, if you are the Messiah, tell us. We can't wait anymore. And it's amazing to see Jesus tell him, I told you already, but you didn't believe. It's very important for you and for me to remember in our lives, Jesus is our good shepherd. He is the one who is leading us. He is the one who guides our lives. I do believe in um, this crazy time, this time of fear, concern. How often, maybe you too, perhaps even myself, and then we can say, God, how long are we going to wait to receive communion? How long are we going to, to stay to, until we can get back again? And then Jesus tell you, all you have to do is to continue to believe, to continue to hope, to continue to remember he is in charge of his church. And as his flock has his sheep, all we have to do is to listen to his voice. You know, St. Thomas Aquinas said, the son allows us to see. Whenever we have sunshine, like today, we are very happy. But Thomas Aquinas said, what would happen if we close our eyes? We don't see the sun anymore. It's like darkness. It's a little dark. But it says, is it the fault of the sun? Or it is my fault because I close my eyes? Do you really understand? Jesus is the one every single day who wants to be closer to you because he loves you, because he wants to take good care of you, because he doesn't want to stay far away, but he wants you to listen to his voice, to obey, and to realize how much he loves you. That's what is the reason you and I, we have to listen to Jesus' voice because he loves you and you listen, you obey because you are loved by Jesus. My brothers and sisters, you know, in these days, we are talking about we open things, getting together. You can go out. We can, as a family, maybe meet some friends. Even we have to respect the social distance, 
and all of this that's very important. But remember, very soon we will get back again. We have a beautiful meeting this morning. How we will get back soon. And you will have more details also very soon. So put it in, in your mind, whatever it is for you, Jesus is your sunshine. Sometimes you can close your eyes, but whenever you open them, you will see the sunshine again. And our brothers and sisters, with great confidence, let us now present our petitions to our God. That the leaders of Christ's earthly flock may be faithful shepherds in his name. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may treasure the many colors and cultures of the family gathered by its shepherd. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people may hear the divine voice calling them to life and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our works may plainly reveal our faith in the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may experience the healing strength of God's hand upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of Lucian Lipera. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And that the dead may live forever in the unity of the Father and Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, dear Son Jesus, you continue to be with us. You continue to take good care of your people with great confidence. We ask you in this Eucharist to make us every day stronger in our faith and in our love and our hope. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all time to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like did you fall, so that they may become first the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which, will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Taylor our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced with eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our brothers and sisters, with faith, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the best hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, have mercy. I don't need to say the word in my soul And now, my brothers and sisters, let us say together the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May the loving God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our masses indeed, let us go in peace. Thanks be God.